the holidays are here and we need to get our kitchens ready. Wherever the food is, that's where the party is. We're away for Thanksgiving, so I wanted to get my kitchen ready for the holidays before we left home. This cottage that we're in in South Carolina is 126 years old, so this kitchen is a adorable and would take no time to organize but we're gonna head back to utah and we're gonna get my kitchen ready for the holidays and i would love for you to get your kitchen ready as well are you ready aprons on let's go empty and clean the inside of your fridge i do this every year before the holidays and with us heading out of town i definitely need to clean this out before we leave a lot of food is gonna come in and out of this refrigerator during the holidays. So let's go through our items that are already there and get things tossed out or put in the freezer. So let's make some available space. Let's try to use up any items like condiments, vegetables, any close to use by date items like cheese and sour cream. I bought this sour cream like a week ago and um, the use by date is December 4th. It's not open so this it's still gonna be good for us when we get back. Shaylee will probably finish this cottage cheese tonight. And if not, I'll bring it upstairs and one of the family members can eat it. Ooh, for dinner, here's our options that we have lurking in the refrigerator. At Costco, they had their chicken pot pies on sale. And when I did my Costco run, the last one, I bought them. And so we had them for dinner. So these have only been in the refrigerator for two days. So we're gonna have chicken pot pie for dinner. and we have leftover pasta. So that is our dinner tonight from the refrigerator. Sweet. No cooking the night before we leave for a trip. So give your shelves, the walls inside, a good quick wipe down. You can take everything out and make it a big project or just make it quick like I like to do. If you need to reorganize your shelves, go for it. You wanna make room for your big items for the holidays, maybe like I don't know, a turkey? Really move things around if you don't wanna take everything out and see what's going on in there. You might be surprised. Do you know what this is? That is a green pepper. How did that get hidden? It got hidden by one of these baskets. These containers I got at the dollar store. Great pull out containers, cheap. You don't have to spend a lot to organize your fridge. You can put your cream cheese in it, your butter, your apples. I've had them for a few months in my fridge and honestly, absolutely love them. Cucumbers that need to be used up, I'll give them to the family upstairs. And these carrots are bad. These will be donated to the family. That took like seriously, what, 10 minutes, not even? That feels good. Number two, purge your pantry. My pantry has exploded the last few months. It's a mess, but the way that I have zoned out my pantry, putting things away goes really fast. I have things zoned in categories like breakfast, baking, gluten-free, snacks, you name it. And I have a lot of things to put away from my big bulk hauls that I've recently showed you that I haven't had time to just put away fully yet. So I'm gonna refill some containers, get things on the shelves, consolidate any bulky items into airtight containers. Right now is just a good time to go through, see if you have any expired stuff, see what needs to be tossed out, uh, what you could consume in the next few days. Check the dates on the items in your pantry. And while you're doing it, just take inventory. Just notice if you need anything for your holiday baking and cooking. Keep an eye on that, maybe grab a notepad, grab your planner, and write the things down that you're noticing that you're gonna need for your holiday meals and desserts and baking and all the fun stuff coming. Prepare your heavy hitters. I'm talking about your microwave, your oven, your stove. If you don't wanna use harsh chemicals or use the self-clean oven on your stove, which I don't blame you, you can make your own natural oven cleaners. You can make a baking soda paste. Rub this all over the inside of your oven and on the racks and you can let it sit overnight or if you don't have that kind of time for a few hours like I would do at least two hours this will loosen up any food that's stuck on anything in there vinegar is also great to use on the glass door and it'll help you kill any bacteria that's left over as well 
The way that I clean my microwave is I put a mug in there with water, with a little bit of lemon, and I let it cook in there. The water will boil, it'll create steam, and when it's done, I, I let it sit in there for a little while. And then I go in and just take my cloth and wipe it down, it does the trick. Organize your kitchen cabinets in drawers. Do certain areas of your drawers need to be wiped down? So this is the silverware drawer. My silverware tray holders needed to be wiped down. I got these from the Dollar Tree and they were great. So I'm cleaning these out. And put the silverware back in and we'll be good to go. Take out anything that you haven't used over in the last year. Maybe check your mixers and your blenders. Make sure you have all the paddles and attachments that you need. You can even give your cabinets and cupboards just a good little wipe down. Just look at the handles and the fronts of them to see if you see any fingerprints or food. Just give it a quick wipe. Clear and organize your countertops. If you have specific items that you want to keep on your countertops during the rest of the year, consider placing them somewhere else during the holiday season. We just need all the available space. We're going to clear off our countertops by putting them in categories like items that we use but can be removed temporarily like a canister, a mixer, a toaster. If you have a slow cooker you keep out on your counter. Little trinkets, decorations, what could we take off just to remove temporarily? Maybe even give your kitchen trash can a good cleaning. When was the last time you cleaned that? Next time you take the trash out, before you add a new bag, just take it into the bathroom, maybe put it in the shower, rinse it off. We like to take it outside and use the pressure hose to it. I think this is one area that we sometimes forget about. Now, again, you don't have to go crazy. Take a little piece at a time. Just get it to where it's not too crazy for the holidays. I don't know about you, but when it comes to the new year, I'm like ready to like organize, declutter, do all the things once Christmas is away. So you don't have to go too crazy, but get it ready with all these areas that we talked about, all these tips, so that the holidays aren't so chaotic. Our pantries can get crazy and disorganized and you wanna find a way that you can at least manage it. They're always gonna get messy and messed up, right? You have people in your home, that's bound to happen. Click on this video here. I share with you how to organize your pantry into zones. That way, if things get chaotic, you're able to put things away very quickly. You'll never have to go seriously hunting for anything. Click on the video here. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Bye.